Welcome to On Track TV. I have some great tips and tricks for you that will help improve work productivity and make the process of editing and formatting your documents faster and more efficient. So let's get started. When we use the backspace key or delete key to remove text in our document, we erase one character at a time. This can take a while if you are deleting long words or sentences. So to delete text a word at a time, just hold the control key and use the backspace key, or you can also use the delete key depending on what direction you would like to erase the text. When we cut and paste text, we can use the shortcut key control X or control V to paste, or we can use the mouse to select the text and use the right click menu option to cut and paste. Now there is a slightly faster way to do the cut and paste action, and I'm going to do that on this red text here. So let me highlight that as usual. Now instead of right clicking or using Control X, I'm going to use my F2 key on the keyboard. Now the next step is to place the insertion point to where you want the text to go. So let's say up here and I will hit the enter key and right away the text will move into that new location. Using the correct formatting in our document is very important. If there is any text formatting we want to erase or reset to the default, we can select the text and use the, the clear formatting tool in the home tab, font group, and clear formatting. Another way to do the exact same thing that is slightly faster is to, again, make sure the text is selected and use the keystrokes, control and spacebar. When we copy and paste or cut and paste text, the formatting attached to the original text is transferred as well. If we are combining documents together from different files or copying text off the internet, the formatting often does not match our current document. Instead of having to clear the formatting after the paste, we can actually paste the text without the original formatting. So my document here currently uses the Calibri font. Now I'm going to copy a text from the website here, which uses a different font. So I'm going to do my keystroke control C, or you can choose to right click on the text after you have selected and select copy. Let's return back to the Word document and let's place the insertion point to where we want the text to go. If I do a simple paste by doing Control V, you'll see that the formatting does not match my current document. This text that I have just pasted uses an Arial font at size 9, which is different from my current document. So I will undo this. In order to paste without the formatting from the original. I can go up to the home tab. In the clipboard group, you want to click on the bottom portion of the paste command. Now from here, you want to choose this option called keep text only. So you'll see that when I hover to this choice in the background with my live preview, I can see that the text has been inserted using the same formatting as my current document. Now you can also choose to do that directly by the document itself. So I can right click with my insertion point in place and from the menu I can select keep text only here. And that will insert the text using the default formatting of this current document. Thanks for watching. We have more of these tips and tricks, so make sure you subscribe to OnTrack TV.